Mm. Oh. <coughs> Finish my breakfast. Just in time for the stream, boys. All right. I mentioned today only a really short stream because I well I got cucked at work. Can you can you come in? Can you please? Uh, you, don't? you know how it is if you're a witch, cuck yourself. And uh, didn't even have time to do my hair. But anyway, really short stream today. We're gonna look at all uh, all over the. Pl <laughs> we're going to look at the new Emperor's Children cards, and we're also gonna open some event crates. Yeah, I have the number one. Uh, Event crate here, and we're also gonna buy some. They cost 200 again. Someone said in the chat, and we're gonna buy some 200 uh, gold crates and just open them up. I'm gonna spend like, I think like 20,000 or something on them. Money will come back again anyway. So first of all, let's uh, check the cards out. There are a lot we didn't see yet, and I think there are no new neutrals. I checked that already. Nah, wrong button. <laughs> yeah, there don't seem to be any new neutrals in this wave. That means we're just gonna take a look at the Empress Children and then uh, open up the crates. Has the boss little grey dog. Welcome, boys. And uh, Artyom, of course. Well, let's see, Adelon, we didn't see this one yet. Oh, fuck, no. Yes, the Saurian is an ability. Okay, so they made him the Saurian focused. That means they also didn't. That means they also didn't revoke Marius, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, God damn it. Oh well. Oh, but did they revoke a Kofni commander? Yeah, they did. It's it's resolution now. Um. Yeah, still kind of cancerous, but I'll take it. Anyway. So, the Saurian blah blah blah. The Saurian the enemy next time deal 2 damage. So, it's 2 energy disorient or 2 damage. Yeah, and the special card death by noise. Um. Mm, okay. Not too great, I think. Might be just super annoying to play against, or you just don't care about the disorient at all. Special card is nice, though. Some uh, disorient synergy. Fulgrim! I don't have him yet. I should actually have him. As some of you guessed right in the chat, um, I already knew what he does because I should receive him today with the patch because I uh, he is my tournament prize for the execution tournament, but uh, he's not here yet. Daddy Fulgrim, I'm not a big fan of another big fan of his new artwork. He looks a bit too chatty, Daddy, for my likes. He's more a fanboy in my books, you know, because he likes to wear makeup and he's a Slaneshi and Virgin boy. You know how it is. Uh, but yeah, he's basically a uh, slightly worse Soul, which only works on Tactics and High Initiative Primark again, like Chorus, so we'll have trouble with Card Roll most likely. This was of Chaos 16 again, and uh, lowers the cost by 1 every time you play a card with reduced cost. Interesting. That means he really wants to play the 4 energy uh, legendary card. And his uh, whispers is, oh, Epitome of Excess. Holy shit. Unstoppable. Plus two and cleave this turn. Connect again. Holy shit. This is a game ender, boys. This is not Horus Ascended or some shit. This is a game ender. Wow, I like this a lot. This is a this is a dangerous whispering. Holy shit. You two dislike the new Rosa art? Oh, come on, Rosa is not Fulgrim, like he's more he's like a little gimp of Fulgrim man. Anyway, let's continue with the cards. Lucius, we all saw him, uh might be fine. I don't think he's too bad, as people said. He's not abusable anymore. Uh, perfection, most of the time, will trigger only once per turn. Ability, yeah, on a rare Primark, uh, on a rare Primark, on a rare wall for 30 HP, bit weak, but the passive is nice, though. Uh, Marius Ferozian, we all know him. So, uh, I saw this one on Discord already. I don't know what is gonna happen, and I don't know if this is gonna stack. So, if you play two of these, if your card's gonna cost two less this turn. Uh, but this screams toxic deck. This screams some OTK bullshit. I don't know what's gonna happen yet, but I know that this is gonna be disgusting. I feel it. I feel it in my bladder, boys. This is gonna be disgusting. Can't say what, but something with this shit will happen. Hate how both release Primarchs have auto tubal whispers. Fulgrim had auto tubal whispers before that too. And Horus whispers were unplayable. I don't understand your complaint, to be honest. Um, 
Okay, this is... Yeah, this is whatever. It uh, should be a token. Okay, epic bikes we didn't see yet. Fast perfection plus 2 plus 0. So basically a fast 3 energy bike. Ooh, be good on. Uh, a fast uh, 3 attack. 3 attack. Oh my god, I just woke up. A fast <laughs> 3 attack. A uh, fast 3 free for 2 energy. Very good, actually. We'll be good on Lucius, I guess, who wants to trigger perfection. Oh, this shit with Warp Retreat and that. Uh, no, it has perfection plus 2. Like, you can do some... Is there a way to reduce the cost of Warp Retreat 2? Like, your tactics cost 1 less? No, it doesn't. Otherwise, you could make an endless combo with this shit and Warp Retreat. Thank God Warp Retreat is 3 energy, man. If Warp Retreat wasn't 3 energy, I would already like... I said toxic, toxic, uh, toxic uh, deck when I see this. And this would be it. Like, play 2 of these and then these for free and Warp Retreat for free. But Warp Retreat is thankfully 3 energy, so... It shouldn't happen. But we will see. Thankfully, Rubber's Moon is in my lodge, so I will see the toxic deck first, most likely. Alright, next one. Master of the Signal. Two energy rally went next. Ooh, this is pretty good. <clears throat> it doesn't say this turn. Yeah, it's you can ramp it for next turn. It's a very good card. Very good two draw. Also good stats. I like this one a lot. Good rare. So Phoenix Spear, we saw this one already. Uh, probably good on Fulgrim. Maybe also not too bad. Uh, probably good on Lucius. Probably not bad on Fulgrim either. I don't know. But Fulgrim, I don't know. Might be a dead card. On Lucius, I would probably play this once or twice. We'll see. It's not bad. It's a it's a playable buff card. So that's already. Not too shabby. Perfection, get a Mark of Chaos to Energy 2-2. Um, maybe a Lucius card? I don't know. Like, this can be a 4-2 for free. Uh, for two. It's actually not bad. So, worst case, which can happen, this will get Slanesh. So, 3-2 for two, 2, this is, like, bad. This will just get face bashed. But it can get 3-3 three, three for 2. Or 2-4 two, Poisonous for 2. Or 4-2 two for 2. And then the face bash kind of hurts for your opponent. Not a bad common, honestly. Maybe playable on Lucius. We'll see. Before Fulgrim had a nominated ability to reduce cost and therefore reduce whispers. Yeah, but perfection was a uh, not every card printed, dude. Um, okay, Sonic Shriek destroying an enemy talked a lot about it in my uh, reveal video already. Okay, that's a buff card. Your the Phoen Phoenician's own. Give plus one plus one to your troops if they have a mark of chaos. Get an additional plus one plus one. Nah, yeah, whatever. Um, legendary we didn't see yet. Three energy, two five. Very good stats. Uh, Megatro is no more, so if you play this on 3, very nice. When you trigger perfection, draw a card. Very nice. And heal 2 to 4. Yeah, okay, it's random, but on heals it doesn't matter too much, I think. 2 to 4 for 1 energy is very fair. Very good card. I think it's gonna be one of those staple because it's good, no matter what deck you're playing. Atonian squad 3 energy 2 3. A rally draw a card. Not bad either, honestly. This is simple and good. I think. Card draw is worth like 0.75 energy. This this is a 2 energy troop uh, which costs 3. It's slightly over costed, but I think this is fine. Not bad, certainly. Okay, 3 energy flanker, uh, flank perfection game first. Ooh, this is really good. Also really good. What the fuck? We the reveals were so shit, guys. And here we have so many good rares and actually comments too. I'm surprised, man. Not gonna lie. I think the drink's fucking hell. It's a very good card. I like it a lot. Call the reserves. Three energy. Choose an Emperor's Children vehicle and add it in your hand. Perfection also lowers cost by two. Um, this is something for Fulgrim, I think. Yep. Fulgrim wants to play this. <clears throat> Luestus Squad. Unstoppable Perfection getting a Mark of Chaos. Um, again, not bad. It's not bad. It can become a 4 4 or 3 with Terror and Unstoppable. It is like really good stats overall. Uh, or 3 6 Unstoppable with Poison for 3 energy. I think this is very playable, very nice. Really good. I like it. We'll go in Lucius probably. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bad common, sorry. Um, heal 4 to friendly and perfection also give plus 1 plus 0 this turn. 3 energy, heal 4, very nice. Don't know if anyone. Uh, yeah, plus 1 plus 0 this turn. Like, Dark Fate sees no play whatsoever, as I said. Yeah, from Sons of Forest. So there's 3 energy, heal 4, and plus 1 additionally for every mark of chaos on the board or something. Um, this might suffer the same fate. 
But there is a lot of um, Warlord support, we saw that, and maybe it will be playable on Lucius because he also has uh, low HP. So, yeah, that's all Galaxy Flames. Um, just a 4 g 4 3 flanker. Uh, yeah, don't know, play but it's definitely playable, but without an additional effect, uh, whatever. Larry Cacophony, I reviewed this one, I think it's pretty bad. Uh, might be okay for event though. Let me icons disorient all enemy troops. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of the same as Larry Cacophony, just without the body. It buys you a turn, it's like Nostremo. Basically. It's a worse Nostremo. Which doesn't draw. I don't know. I don't like this orient at all. Um, okay, frontline when you trigger perfection heals two for energy three five. Oh, we saw that during reveals, but they buffed it a little bit. I mean, yeah, not too great to be honest. It's just a four energy three five heals two. Yeah, maybe it's probably it's playable in event. Let's put it like that. Uh, Palatine Sarge, We saw this one too. I think in reveals gains a mark of chaos uh, on battle honor is just bad. Without the flank, um, respect and conclave. Draw two cards for energy perfection. They cost one less. Very nice, Fulgrim card. I love this. Draw two cards for four is bad, but if you play this on perfection, they cost one less. This is very good. So you basically pay two energy to draw two cards. This is a resupply, with a, with a little. Yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. They buffed Narrow Quinn since reveal. Yeah, yeah, we saw that one. Tactical Excellence, so he does as a Fulgrim card because he wants to play reduced cards. And he also can play this on 3. Uh, Tech Marine, the story is uh, Friendly Vehicle has plus 1 plus 0 draw a vehicle from your deck. Um, don't like this one too much. Like, average stats with an average ability. And I don't know, maybe we can make a vehicle center deck. Maybe? Like, Fulgrim. Wait. I saw this one also. Perfection lower the cost of all vehicles in your hand and deck by one. This is fucking nuts, I think. Because Fulgrim wants to play reduced cost cards. Yeah, but that's what you want to play with Fulgrim. So you want to play like a vehicle type of deck, I guess. With this guy. Kind of fetch him with the Chilcha engine or something. So you get him as early as possible. And they honestly have some really good vehicles. Like uh, jet bikes and call the reserves. The fast bikes here. And maybe they will something else. something else will come as well. So, I think Vehicle Fulgrim will be like the default deck to play him. Uh, and maybe this guy will see play, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, Blade of the Lair. They have again Pruner the Weapon. Plus one, plus zero, four, five energy. Fair. When a troop dies, doesn't have to be your troop, any troop. Plus two, plus zero this turn. Damn. This is not too shabby, not gonna lie for an equipment like you can go to absurd amounts of, of attack with that i think this is definitely playable actually good but this is like Gore child yeah plus one plus zero but with an additional effect which is pretty solid hey watchdog watchdog dog whatever it's pronounced welcome man um yeah we'll see i i think this is a good card i they don't seem to as tempo oriented as um Tons of Forus yet, so cards like these might really see uh, see a lot of play. Gale Wind Strike, deal 2 damage to all enemies. Perfection, deal 1 additional damage. Very nice as well. It's basically a good death set. 2 on average, yeah, this is like death dealers, but it costs 1 more and you deal 1 more for 1 more damage. It's uh, For 1 more uh, energy. Very solid. Might see it play like once or twice. Um, yeah, we saw these ones already, so this is the Warlord synergy, more or less. Legacy Lucius of the K moment. Yeah, Legacy Lucius is gonna be fucking, uh, uh, fucking cancerous, I think. <clears throat> but hopefully a thousand demons goes to uh, Legacy. So, we saw this one as well. I don't think this is good. I think this is a good event card, but in Constructed, uh, not really. You put this on the board and your opponent is like, hmm, yes, let me give something. Uh, this guy can kill so he can buff his troops. Without flag or something like cards like these don't really work. Ist denn schon Mitternacht? Ne, mein Guder. Ich uh, machte heute nur einen preemptive stream. Sergeant Core and Sun Killers steal 3 damage, perfection also stun target. Very solid. Very solid. It's like the old Adachin squad, but better actually. Very nice. Brought Tiffing up, but instead of a seal, you get the stun on perfection. Very nice troop. Very nice troop. They have so many good rares and comments here, not gonna lie. Uh, skill on match, deal 4 damage, perfection, deal 2 additional damage. So 6 damage for 5, or 5 damage for 4. Eh. 
I don't know. Not that great. It's like Lupercal Pursuivant for 5, basically. So yeah, maybe as a one-off as a finisher or something. Uh, Xandas' Cacophony Squad when attacking the Sorin target. Yeah, this is horrible. 5 energy for 5, understated, and the Sorin's on attack. Ah, no. Ancient Sarankos, Contempt of Dragon Resolution, gives plus 1, plus 0 to, vehicles and to your vehicles in place, so he buffs himself. Uh, if it's generated, it's not bad, I guess. So another legendary we didn't see yet, Azael Konanos, the silent flank, after attacking, give Mark of Chaos to your status troops. Uh, Mark of Chaos synergy, I don't know, dude. Sons of Foros are really good at that, I don't think um, Emperor Shodan will be. It's solid, it's not a bad card, it's just... <laughs> It buffs your whole board, but you have to have your whole board ready, so it's kind of been more. Uh, you will kind of want to play flankers when you're playing from behind sometimes, well, most of the time. But yeah, it's not a bad cut. Um, probably will see play just because it's good. Destroy an enemy troop perfection, disorient adjacent units. Uh, six energy heart removal, sure, one copy, why not? Uh, Cacophony got changed, as mentioned, to resolution. These are fucking nuts, I think. Also, very good rare. Like, not completely nuts, but they are really solid. 6 energy, 5 7, prime stats, front line as well, and on resolution, your wallet gains a shield. That's like, um. What's it called? Um. Hot Raymond, but with the body. It's actually really good. Lucas's squad is nuts. Which one was Lucas's squad? The 3 energy one, I think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Lucas's. Yeah, I, I said they are really good. Really good 3-drop. Uh, Sun Killers, we saw these ones already. I don't think they are that great. Um, they are not like Terex, but with, with uh, the ability of Angel's Tears. So they are certainly not bad, but nothing too crazy. Like random damage 2 twice on Rally and Resolution and then with a stick. But for a 6 energy troop, this is kind of mundane. But yeah, we'll see. They are not bad. They are not bad. 7-5 uh, Predator as usual for 7 really deal to damage and 2 additional damage for on perfection. So 4 damage or 2. It's okay. It's like a uh, slightly worse uh, Onyx Saber from the Dark Angels. Yeah, it's okay. It's, okay. it's not a completely bad comment. Phoenix Warden 7 NG59, that's the guy they posted so many times. After an enemy attacks, game plus 1 plus 0 and heal 2 to your Warlord. So these are begging for hard removal, basically, or... So they are really good aggro stoppers. Nice cut. Not bad. Not bad. Really good aggro stoppers. Predator Qualum. Perfection and resolution. Give plus one, plus one to your troops. Yeah, as mentioned, this is... Ah, they changed him to your troops, so it's not only um, your other troops. He buffs himself now as well. So this is gonna be a 6-7 for 7, which also buffs your other stuff. This is like Iron Father from Iron Hands, probably will not see play. Uh, Fury of Slanesh, Mark of Chaos Synergy, but 7 for 8 is already not too shabby. This is like old... Uh, yeah, not really like old... Um, perfections, and that was part of the Emperor, but... If you go the Mark of Chaos route, which I don't think is that great, um, you can kind of reduce this to 5, I think, if you have 3 troops on the board. So, very win more. Uh, 7 damage for 8 without a draw is not that great, but it's almost like a Vengeful Spirit, so why not play one of that, I guess. Uh, grand Finale, lower the cost of all cards in your deck and hand by 2. Draw 2 cards. Holy shit, boys, that is nutty. <laughs> hey, Phil, grüß dich. Um, that is a really good card, not gonna lie. Two cards for eight is bad. Oh, actually, no, this is <laughs> no, this is actually not good. Like, on eight, you want to drop big bodies. Yeah, I, I kind of... The cost sounds great, but... Uh, the, 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 oh, Jesus, I'm still sleepy, guys, I'm sorry. The, the card text sounds great, but I ignored the cost here. Oh, yeah, it's on eight energy, you kind of don't want to do that. I don't know. It may be great, but we'll have to see. You just care on the perfection, yeah. So he, he he's a huge, big boy. He will be played because he's a big. He will be a very big boy. He will be on average a ten ten or something, with uh, keywords. That's why he's going to be played, not because of the um buffing. But if you have something on the board and drop this guy, then of course it's really really good. Grand finale isn't an event. 
On eight energy. Okay. Perfection destroy a random enemy troop. Wow. That's very good, man. Random is bad, sure. It's a lot like Stalag. But it's like, if you can discount this shit at all, I think this is a very good card. Randomness aside, but if your opponent only has one big troop on the board, very nice card. Machiavellum, when you put a player troop, give it plus two plus two. Uh, yeah, usual land, land to a buff thingy, that we won't see any play. Uh, Phoenix Guard is Galaxy in Flames, and Ermus Approbia re 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 revealed this one. Um, maybe one in Fulgrim since he kind of runs vehicles. And yeah, rest st stayed the same. I don't think they reworked mission. Nope. Uh, fueled by Desire, and... Uh, yeah, mission stayed the same. Alright, these were the cards, boys. Um, very interesting. Yeah, I guess the reveals were really just really bad and we didn't see most uh, of the bad cards, uh, of the good cards, I mean. I'm gonna get a drink real quick and then we're gonna open the number one event crate. Gentlemen, uh, number one event crate. How many? How many dupes will I get? Let's see. Fulgrim can reduce its cost though. Yeah, you can play it on six with the legendary card. Yeah, I guess it's for Fulgrim as well. Um, okay, let's do it. 280 gold. It's pretty well since I received the number one crate. I don't know how uh, how well they are. Garluk, one dupe. Oh! Yes! Ah! Ah, the one I didn't have. Yes! Oh, this is a good start. This is a good start. Oh, very nice. Okay, so it's... Um, so it's two legendaries from the expansion, if you're... Uh, and ten tickets, too. Well, the gold, I thought it's gonna be more gold. But I'll fucking take it, boys. Very nice. Very nice. Two legendaries. Alright. Now, let's go into the shitty crates. Let's go into the shitty crates. Um, They are 200 gold again, I saw. Yeah. But only three cards are from Emperor's Children. The rest is gonna be random. I'm gonna dump like 200 and we're gonna do this until the end of the stream. At the event where it wasn't in the crate. But what was it? It was just a cosmetic, so yeah, it doesn't matter. It's uh, Since it's only cosmetic, who cares? Um, okay, let's go. Um, I'm gonna be sad for every deep, but... Let's see it. Done to welcome, my friend. Let's go. At least they are 200 again. Strength on pain. Okay, okay. Master of the Signal, I'm already happy Master of, Master of the Signal, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's a very good rare. Um, and yeah, comments, whatever. Not gonna go over every common here. Alright, that's a good rare as well. And Larry and Cacophony. How many did I get here? These are four. Okay, so it's at least three. It might, can be more of the new cards. Okay, there we go. First Epic Sound Killers, not too shabby. I like that. Uh, yeah, I bought this one already, uh, because I would have it anyway. It's just a gem investment. And we got another good rare. Not too bad. So there are old, like, the Sense of Forest cards. It's like all the cards from this expansion, apparently. At least they're not giving you, like, Isfin 3 again. Like, in the event crates last, last uh, rotation. Alright, so let's continue. I have two, 20 minutes left, guys. But I think we're gonna make it in 20 minutes. Uh, Larry and Kukovny again. Not a big fan of that. Another epic! Holy shit. Nice. And it's a good epic as well, I think. Very nice. Two epics so far in... Six crates. That's a very good rate. That's a very good rate. Let's continue like that, gentlemen. Let's continue. 
Let's continue just like that. Okay, that's an okay rare. Another epic! Holy shit! What the fuck? Am I lucky today? Undeserved. How so? Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, uh, that's honestly a very good rate, man. I I hope I don't drop Fulgrim because I will receive Fulgrim as an um, as an uh, tournament reward. Grand finale, here we go. But yeah, as mentioned, um, eight crates, three epics. That's very good. I'm already happy. <laughs> Because it's not just uh, this is this gives you some 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 flavor, uh, some 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 juice, you know. You want to keep opening. That's what I was talking about, man. <laughs> very good, very good. Op, even. It should be a three free in my opinion. It's so overstated, man. Two epics and sixteen crates. Well. La I, I remember last crate opening, I got like one epic and 30 crates. It had a worse drop rate than the legendaries. And I also got Dark Fate over and over again. If it was an epic, it was so frustrating. Okay, Predator. Yep. Are we getting there? Uh, we're halfway through. Halfway through the whole distance. Chat. Okay, first legendary. Blade of the Lair. After 15 crates. Not too shabby. And I think this is a good legendary. I think it's not bad. I think it's not bad. Blade of the Lair, baby. So, 15 crates. 15 crates, 3 epics, 1 legendary. Hey, Constantine Veldo, my friend. Welcome. I'm only live for like uh, 20 more minutes, but... You're welcome to join and welcome to watch the crate opening. We'll, we'll be going live t tomorrow again, in case you didn't read the description. And on Sunday to Master of the Single. Very good. Thank you. How many crates were these? Three? Bruh. Yeah, I can't see there were three crates or something. It's not Fulgrim, but as I mentioned, I don't want Fulgrim because I will get Fulgrim from the event, uh, from the from the tournament. From your initial impressions, would you say Sons of Horus and Ambrose Shulman are stronger Hermit than Acht? No idea. They all seem kind of balanced so far, but uh, I think uh, there will be some real cheese going on for the Ambrose Children. Cost reduction is always a bad thing for a card game, believe me. And I don't like how this is going, so they might be stupid. They, they just have more going on to them. Sons of Foros are very straightforward, you know? And they have one super busted deck, which is Planetary Invasion and Mellow Cursed. But uh, the other decks are pretty fair. They are not weak, but also not overwhelmingly strong. If you get them, you can, actually cho you can usually choose a new reward. Yeah, sure. I guess pulling Fulgrim is uh, pretty cool. So yeah, did I my game crash? My game crashed. Okay, that's that's just your usual. So yeah guys, Malakurus from the event crate. I with the one I was missing, I'm also missing Avatar of the Four, but it's not that important, I think. And uh, So far I think twenty crates. Two legendaries, three epics. It's loud as fuck. I don't know if this crate counted, but whatever. I think there is nothing really. Which I missed here, right? One. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think it counted. I s don't see anything new. So, let's continue with the openings. Grand Finale again. So yeah, this might be a Fulgrim card. He can play it on 6 if he's lucky. You guys are right. But on the other Warlords, probably not. Yeah, Broken 3-drop, I don't know. But maybe this was it for my luck, guys. Maybe this was it for my luck. Maybe this was it for my luck. We will see. 15 minutes left. I had 37,000 gold initially, I think. Just keeping... <laughs> Not a tube. <laughs> I'll take it after the all the fucking shit I've been through on uh on last fucking crate openings man especially in event i'll take it i'll take all the legendaries man i don't mind how how many were these now like 30 crates 30 crates three legendaries no dupes no dupe epics no. i don't mind now i just need the robot Now I just need the robot. Wait, how many legendaries are there? Um, how many legendaries are there in total? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five, six. Simon, so three. Yeah, I'm gonna still open crates, guys, because... Yeah, I'm at the half, usually I would stop now. It doesn't make sense, really, but... I have so much gold, and I will get more gold from events, so let's just spend it, boys. Yeah, uh-huh, okay. But the epic stopped. I got three epics, three legendaries from 30 something crates. They probably rigged my drop rates indeed, you know? Because I had this. You remember my statistics for Sons of Force, which I was always showing? Like, look at this! Don't spend money on this game! Maybe they saw it and were like, hmm. Well, let's rig this motherfucker's drop rate so he says, yeah, spend money on this game. Who the fuck knows? Uh, premium shit neutral, okay. Um, there's probably like 30 crates. I didn't count. But I got th th around 30 crates. Not even. It were less than 30 crates. I think I got my first one 15, then the next two after, and then like 10 more crates, and I got the third one. Right, that's a good card. Premium Burning of Bot. I'll actually take it too because I play it sometimes. Good crate to have. Good rare to have. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it kind of stopped, guys. It, I think it kind of stopped. No epics for I don't know how long. And uh, yeah, but, but but I'm gonna spend probably 15k then. Yeah, thanks, dude. Master of the signal. Okay, we got this one already. I'm also pretty sure I'm still missing Razzle Commons, so I'll, I'll fucking take it, man. It didn't stop. <laughs> it didn't stop. <coughs> I got it. Now I just need my Fulgrim from Everguild, and I'm ready to build a deck. This is... This, yeah, this is how I roll. This is how I always want to roll, man. Nine crates. So this is like... But I'm gonna continue, you know why? Because I still got not enough epics and I still have a lot of gold to spend. I'm just gonna go for it, why not? Four legendaries in under 40 crates, that were under 40 crates for sure. I'm only missing the apothecary now, yep. 
Okay, another epic. We'll take it. And call the reserves. Yep, the medic and... Yeah, yeah, true. And the medic. The medic is missing. So, let's go for one more legendary. Yeah, this is gonna be about right, I think. Dude, this is such a much better feeling than the Shadow of the War Master initially, where you pay much more and you I got like three world breakers or some shit. You guys remember who of you who were there? Man. Now this is this is like if I would have spent 100 euro now in real money, I wouldn't have felt cheated, you know? Not not that it wasn't even 100, it's like yeah, it's it's not quite 100 yet. So yeah, let's go one more round here. <clears throat> well, depends when the next drops. I might go another round, actually. Because I initially I wanted to spend around 20k. But I went down to 15, so I got like 6,000 more which I can spend, I think. Phoenix Warden, where they go. Another epic. I send more support tickets than event tickets, so the, ex so the exact opposite happens to me. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense, B side. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. But no, who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? Maybe they actually said, hey, dude, this, this guy is like really upset, and maybe they saw the sheet I'm always, I was always showing you guys, like how much I paid in real money. I didn't. I just, I just converted in game currency in money. And they were like, yeah, fuck, this is really bad <clears throat> promotion, man. If people watch this guy. And I assume I'm like uh, one of the bigger, big, bigger uh, Legion streamers, like the pirate and the uh, teacher. I don't know, T teacher doesn't even stream. Only pirates, only pirate and me stream right now. So yeah, I guess they. <laughs> Come on. I guess they. Uh, Fucking Dark Fate! It has to be, you know? A little spit in the face to to remember the good times. Yeah, I know how many Dark Fates I got, man. Thank you. Thank me for reminding. Okay, I'll stop. Fuck you, Evergill. <laughs> Fuck you. I said nothing. You have to go 30 for each legendary? I, I usually do. What the fuck? Yeah, now, now, now the disappointment starts. Now I'm getting fucking Sensophoros epics, which I already have. Although I'm still missing Sensophoros epics, by the way. Okay, Armor Superbia, not a good epic, but I'll fucking take it. Yeah, I, and you, come on, I. Eh. Yeah, my luck, my luck ended. I think we're also gonna go the distance now. We're gonna go the distance now for a dupe. I smell it. My luck ended. That, that was it with my luck. That was it. That was it with my luck, guys. I'm not even sure if I have all rares and comments already, but... The disorient effect is hard to see someone is gonna forget he got disoriented and lose it. And that someone is gonna be me. <laughs> Is it not like a stun? I would imagine that they would just do it like a stun. Like, uh... Thingies over the, uh, character icon. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. A rare I don't have. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm gonna go the distance now, boys. But okay. Will, will be a lesson. Will be a lesson to me. This is a lesson to all of you gamblers, like... You need to know when to fucking stop. But I got another rare which I don't have, I'll take it. Double rare. Eight more to go, yep. This is, uh, this is the final push here, boys. I'm not gonna do another round. This is the final push.
Okay, second copy. Fine, I'll take it. Yeah, we're going the distance now, but fine. It is as it is, boys. It is as it is. You need to know when to stop, but I'm spending exactly or even less than I initially had planned, so I'm totally fine with that. Oh, come on, man. Three Furies of Slanesh and three of these uh, five nines. That's, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, you need to know when to stop. You need to know when to stop. And I'm going to get another dupe. Here at the end. Two more crates. It's gonna be a dupe. It's gonna be a dupe. So, what are the odds of me getting the apothecary? Alright. So, it's six legendaries, right? It's Fulgrim and five um, faction legendaries. I'm right? It's Fulgrim and five faction legendaries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay. Sixteen percent chance. Thirty two percent chance to get Fulgrim. Or the Apothecary, but then I will have to ask Abigail to change my initial reward. So let's go. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I HATE THIS UI! Okay, last crate, boys. Let's do it! Ah, it's a dupe. But okay, as I mentioned, guys. You need to know when to stop. You need to know when to stop. We should have stopped after the... Uh, yeah. So we got like... Four legendaries in around 40 crates. And the next 30 nothing. Almost nothing. I got some rares and epics which is fine. But yeah. Um, doesn't matter. I still spent what I initially planned to spend. So it's fine. I think we also have a decent collection now. Definitely better than the Sons of Forest previously. Um, what are we missing? Well, Adalon and Fulgrim we are missing. Fulgrim, hopefully, we'll, we'll receive him tomorrow. We're missing the cool Outriders, unfortunately. That's not so great. That's not so great. Lucius is fun. Uh, seven. No, it's six. It's six. Apotheosis, it doesn't count. Uh, wait, uh, no, never mind. I misunderstood your message. But yeah, it's six. I just counted it. Uh, only one copy of that. Okay, we get all of that crap. How late is it? 33? Yeah, right in time. Let's just see. How's it looking? Alright. Javelin, alright. Okay. Okay, got all of these. Got all of these. Tactical excellence. Very happy about that, because that's a full grim card. Okay, okay, okay. Only one of that, so I'm missing a rare here. Okay, I'm missing both of these, but I don't really care. Skill unmatched. Um, okay, got all of that crap. Oh, I'm missing that one as well. Oh, so it's seven. Yeah, you're right, Elden. Yeah, you're right, it was seven. So, yeah. Okay, the dupe pair was a little bit unlucky. A little bit unlucky. It was more chances of still more chances of getting a dupe than an actual card, but uh, sure. Okay. Uh, cacophony, blah blah blah. I got all of those. All of, uh, one sun killer is missing. Two of these. Two of these. Two of these. Two of these. One of these. Two of these, two of these, and that's Galaxian Flames. And one Armor Superbia, but that also doesn't really matter. Okay, so overall this is looking pretty good. I don't think I'm missing any really super crucial stuff. Besides Fulgrim. <laughs> um, and, the, yeah, well, the Apothecary and Bikes kind of hurt. I would really like to have these two. 
but we'll see. All right, gentlemen, it's 44 right now. I have to go to work in far uh, in yeah, three minutes. Um, thanks a lot for tuning in. As mentioned, only a short stream today, but I don't have Fulgrim yet anyway. Let's hope Everguild will manage it over the weekend and I can show you some games with him. I will be back tomorrow around the same time. Yeah, I have to go now, unfortunately, as mentioned. And we're gonna play some of the new event and maybe it looks good. Like, I will probably be able to build a deck or two already. Yeah. We will be online tomorrow again around noon. Yeah, because in the evening I have some plans. And another stream on Sunday. No promises, but I feel like it. Depends how much I drink on Saturday. <laughs> okay. Anyway, boys, thanks a lot <clears throat> for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative as usual. Like the card overview and the crate opening. I hope that's uh, entertaining. I like to watch this usually. And I hope to see all of you tomorrow.